All right, got a big morning here, but first. Hola, Hola. Uh, uno cappuccino con leche. Cappuccino? Si. We've had a really aggressive schedule planned for March and we're kind of at a point where we're really close to making it happen, but we've got to put in a lot of work in the next two days to really nail down some of the skills that we're hoping to have. We had a bit of a brainstorming session last night on how to get the most out of uh, the next couple of days of practice. And so we've all got our duties this morning. Really looking to supercharge our practices for the next couple of days. 649. six days left between now and the start of the Princess Sophia Regatta and the mission is to milk as much out of every one of those days as we possibly can. That's going to mean really addressing every part of our training days. So from the food that we eat on the water um, and making sure that we have enough energy out there to the structure of the drills and making sure that kind of the, the low energy drills come first so that by the time we get to the end we still have a little bit of gas in the tank um, and we can really push hard on the last couple of drills of the day. All of this is something that we usually plan into a typical practice, but it's going to be especially important that um, we're on it in the next couple of days because this is kind of crunch time and everything that we do right now is going to be magnified when we get to the regatta. So my job this morning is to make sure that uh, we go into practice this afternoon with a good lunch um, and, and something that will give us a, a few more calories than the bars and the goos that we've been using recently um, and really make sure that we're fueled up for a hard day of work. Running an Olympic campaign is really a lot like running a business, you know, you've got all these different components of the campaign that you have to address, whether it's uh, how much time you're going to spend on the water and, and how you're going to get the right coaching, which are kind of the obvious sailing things, to the logistics of travel and booking housing and figuring out, you know, how you're going to maximize your time on the water. Um, and and also be able to fit in the gym time and the uh, time that it takes to eat enough food. Um, all those little things add up and it's, it's super important to have sort of a, a really defined plan in place that's going to allow you to just go to the venue that you need to be at and execute that plan. All right, super solid session out there. There's a naked guy in the middle of the street over there. I wonder if that's a normal thing in Europe. <laughs> 